Combat plays an important role in the Wild West, as you need it to either defend yourself or kill another. In this video, I'll be teaching you everything I know from my two years of playing the Wild West, but before we start, I wanted to thank you all for helping me reach 100 subscribers. I am deeply grateful that you, the viewer, helped me reach this far. So, to repay this gratitude, I am planning to host an event of some sort with prizes, along with giving out tokens of my gratitude. Nothing is in motion at this point, as I'm still trying to obtain items for the prizes, but do be sure to subscribe so you'll be in the loop. Anyway, let's get back into the video. Alright Hotshot, you say that you can hit something with military precision, but what's good if you can't dodge for what's coming? Here's where movement comes into play. Your WASD keys can be used to traverse towards, dodge, and juke your opponent. Although I cannot teach you movement, as it is a skill you gain proficiency in over time, I can give you a benchline on how you should move. Personally, I think movement is more important than your aim, but why? Think of it like this, if you are alive, you have a chance to hit your opponent, and if he can't hit you, you are alive. So, even if you miss, you always have another try to hit him back. Moving on, some PvP footage will be shown, along with some keystrokes pressed. Take notes. Ah yes, your arsenal, your tools that will help you prevail. Personally, every weapon is good enough to be used, it's just that it depends on you alone to use the gun and bring it to excellency. So, experiment on what gun suits you. Nonetheless, if you insist to know what I think is a good loadout, combo, and weapon is, the loadouts, combos, and weapons will be shown on screen. Likewise with movement, aim is a proficiency you can learn and improve with time. Some might ask, how do you get good with aiming? Practice, and I'm not kidding. Like everything, you can get good with practice, and you can do anything to improve your aim. Be it using an aim trainer, dueling people, or even getting into a PvP tournament. As long as you're doing something with your aim, you're on the right track to improvement. After the controversial removal of quick switching, players have reverted to the foundational basis from quick switching, and that is shift shooting. Although you don't really need shift shooting to excel in PvP, it is useful to know how to do it as for some weapons it can be effective in combination. Shift shooting can be hard to master, but I'll show an easier way to do it. Firstly, you'd want to hold down your right mouse button and start sprinting. Once you wish to start shift shooting, quickly let go of the shift key and shoot, then resume sprinting. This must be done in quick succession. This method of shift shooting is easy to get a hang of as you only need to press two keys in succession. Moving on, the next method of shift shooting is difficult to get a hang of as you must get the timings down with three keys. With this method, you first initiate a sprint, and when you wish to start shift shooting, release the shift key, briefly press the right mouse button, and as you aim you shoot your weapon. You then release both mouse buttons and resume sprinting to maintain a steady momentum. This might sound confusing at first, but once you get your head around it, it should make sense. Some might ask, what's the difference between them? Personally, I feel like the first method gives you more precision when shooting compared to the latter. However, it does feel like you do shoot slower and move more sluggishly. Moreover, the first method does not strain my fingers when applying it. The second method gives you a faster rate of fire along with a more flexible movement. But it does feel like you're less precise when applying it. In addition, it does not strain my fingers when applying it for a prolonged period of time. Just note that this is based on how I feel for each method is, just try it out and see which fits you. To give you some tips on movement, I'd say keep your movement erratic, as it makes it unpredictable for your opponent to track and lead their shots. Secondly, your aim. Keep practicing anything you that can improve your aim. Just practice consistently. Also, don't overwork yourself when practicing. I don't get angry when faults are made, I know what it's like to be burnt out and angry from trying to improve my PvP. It takes time, and gradually, you'll be good at it. Lastly, and more of a tip for your daily life, is what I call the WWH method. And it stands for, what is my weakness, why is that my weakness, and how can I turn that weakness into a strength. This tip is applicable to anything throughout your daily life, and has greatly helped me in the Wild West and outside of it, as you really focus into your faults to turn into a strength. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. I hope you'll be able to stand up to people robbing you for ores in Water Cavern after learning what I've taught you. And thank you again for helping me reach 100 subscribers. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss what I'm doing my event, along with the next guide about grinding. I'm 360, and tread carefully in the Wild West.